My name is Steve Jaynes, and this is the More Abundant Life Podcast, Episode 348, The Radio Interview. For a little fun break between Part 1 and Part 2 of the audio class on how to read the Bible for understanding and power, I thought I would play an interview that I did shortly after the book was published. The first song that was played was as it was played the day the interview on the radio station. The following songs were from my playlist, songs that I thought would fit the music set, and they were also some of my favorite songs. Give a listen to the interview. Saturday, September 16th, featuring Steve Jaynes, author of the book and audio class, How to Read the Bible for Understanding and Power, and Tom Mercier, author of Life's Directions, a book with a concise program of goal setting, plan development, and positive attitudes compacted into a simple, workable system. The authors will be signing on Saturday, September 16th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Salt and Light Christian Bookstore on 160 Riverside Drive in Augusta. For more information, we can be reached at 622-6515. Winds of Worship on your station for inspiration. Worship 95.3. Welcome to the Winds of Worship program on this Wednesday afternoon. I'm Denise LaFontaine with you tonight. Hope that you're having a good night out there. We have a very special program in store for you. Sitting next to me in the studio is an author from the great state of Maine. His name is Steve Jaynes. Steve, how are you doing this afternoon? I'm doing absolutely great. This is awesome. This is Steve's. Um, is this your first time on air, Steve? Yes, it is. Well, this is exciting. This is going to be great. Steve has written a book called How to Read the Bible for Understanding and Power. Now, Steve, tell us what the book is about. I mean, the title is kind of self-explanatory. But <laughs> well, the theme verse for this book is uh, Matthew twenty-two twenty-nine, where Jesus Christ said, You do err, not knowing the Scriptures nor the power of God. Well, this book handles those two statements. Uh, The first part of the book would get into understanding the Bible, to whom the Bible's written to, how the Bible interprets itself, how we got our modern Bible, and just the keys and signposts that are needed in understanding the Bible. That is very awesome. It sounds incredibly exciting. And we're going to give this away. Yes, you are. We're going to give it away. So um, we're going to go to a break. We're going to go to some music. But before we do that, I'm going to look for caller number four when the song begins here. We're going to kick the four o'clock, 4 o'clock hour off with a song by Daryl Evans called Trading My Sorrows. Looking for call number four to win this book by Steve Jaynes called How to Read the Bible for Understanding and Power by Tate Publishing. So you want to get this in your hands. We want to bless you today. It'll be a blessing to our listeners. It sure will. Yeah, it's an honor to have you here, Steve. Right, thank you. So we're looking for call number four. Give us a call, Steve. Why don't you give them the number, the toll-free number to call? The toll-free number is 888 888- Eight two five one three four four. That's right. We're going to go to Daryl Evans right now. Be call number four triple eight eight two five thirteen forty four.
Of 95.3. Well, you're in for a treat this afternoon because we have a very special guest in the studio with us today. His name is Steve James. He's written a book called How to Read the Bible for Understanding and Power in One Blessed Person. Just won this a few minutes ago. The phone lines were ringing off the hook, and uh, we're going to get them ringing again here in just a little bit. And Steve, you just tell us a little bit about um, who should read this book. Well, this book is written for students of God's Word, people who would like to be able to pick up their own Bibles, understand it as they read it, mm-hmm. and then tap into the power of God. That's awesome. That's important stuff. And, and, and So that's basically why you wrote it. Yes, I did. I wrote it so that people would either get to the Word or come back to the Word of God if they've left it. And so how did this book um, become written? Well, it started out as a, a live class that I taught in the classroom, mm-hmm. 23 sessions on these topics here, the topics of how we got our modern Bible, how the Bible interprets itself, to whom it's written to, and then we moved on to operate in the power of God. And Steve is going to be here live, not Memorex, in person Saturday, um, I believe from 10 to 1. You're going to be at the um, Salt and Light Christian Bookstore. Yes, I am. Very excited about it. Yes, right behind us here at 160 Riverside Drive. Don't miss out. Pick up a copy of this book, get it signed, and you can uh, hear some nice comments from the author himself and um, I just believe it's a power pack book written by the Spirit of God through Steve James so that's very very cool it's an honor to have you here and uh, we're going to give another one away all right that's that's okay. exciting we're looking for call number four again can you give us the, the number to call toll free at 888-825-1344 888-825-1344 we're going to get the copy of how to read the Bible for understanding and power by Steve Jaynes, who's sitting right beside me. So uh, looking for call number four, give us a call. I 
was just a young man, seventeen or so, running crazy, chasing good girls, never say no. All my friends, we stuck together. We were cool, we were hot, we were everything everyone else was not. We take it all the way. Never thinking about the cost. Joby was the best to go. Man, it was the greatest guy, but not anymore. Drove right through the crossing gate. Supposed to be with him, but I was three minutes late. Cause I just met a girl that day. She was reading the Bible and I decided to stay. Read me Romans chapter 10. Didn't take long, I got born again. My friends laughed. God, how it hurt. But I did not compromise. Cause I'd rather be left than for speaking God's word Than to sin and want to die Saw the light. He and Joey's girlfriend are in the class we started last night. So the others may come around. God knows I love them, but they ain't dragging me down. Cause friends should want what's best for each other. What good are friends if they don't really love one another? It's in the class, I'm sure you heard. I have no friends when it comes to God's word. I'm not ashamed to stand for God anywhere in a time. When Christ returns, better believe I'll be proud to look him right straight in the eyes. I'm gonna say, we take a lot of guns to see God's man. But I'm gonna say, no matter what. Phones are ringing off the hook once again as we gave away this book by Steve Jaynes called How to Read the Bible for Understanding and Power. And uh, Steve, it's a privilege to have you in the studio with me today. And uh, people can meet you in person here on Saturday. Yeah, I'm going to be here Saturday from 10 until 1, uh, signing the book and making it available to wonderful believers. At Salt and Light Christian Bookstore, behind us at 160 Riverside Drive in Augusta. And uh, it's a privilege to have you, Steve, with me today. And we've been giving away 
books trying to bless the body of Christ, put some good material in their hands that will help them grow in their relationship with God. Oh yeah, this this will this will really open up the Word of God as they're sitting down in their own private lives with their Bibles, opening it up, reading it, and being able to understand it and be able to tap into the resources of God. That's awesome. So um, basically, who do you think should read it and why should I read it? Well, I think anyone who wants to know God, be in fellowship with God, and see God work in their lives, these are the ones that will really bless, be blessed by this book. That's awesome. Very, very awesome. Now, you're a new author. This is your very first book? This is my first book. Is there another book in the, on the way, you think? I don't know. I'm a teacher of God's Word. I teach mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah. But this is my first book, and we'll see how far this goes. <laughs> well, it's interesting. Now, you're from, you're from Maine. Yes, I am. I live in Harrison, Maine. I uh, run a fellowship there in the wonderful, friendly village of Harrison. Where is Harrison? Harrison is uh, on the end of Long Lake. Okay. Uh, near uh, the next lake after Sebago. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very cool. Yeah, it That's is. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, it's an honor to have you here, and uh, we're going to take a break right now to hear from our sponsors. We appreciate them so much. We'll be back with more great music in just a few moments, so please stick around right here to Worship 95.3 FM, helping you live the life on a Wednesday afternoon. I'm Denise LaFountain, and the studio with me today is a special guest. His name is Steve James. He's written a book called How to Read the Bible for Understanding and Power. We've given away several. We're going to give away another one here in just a little bit, but before we do that, let's go to Steve and um, just tell us anything you want to tell us about you or your book. Or 
Well, how this book came about was I started out teaching the, this as a live class in the classroom, uh, each segment, 23 segments. Mm -hmm. And I took those 23 segments, I transcribed them, uh, I edited them, and uh, made the book out of them. And it's a, it's a class that was with a great success as an audio class that people really loved. And so I thought it would be wonderful for people to have a hard copy, a book that they could sit down and read and review and see the keys and principles that are used in the Bible to help people to understand the Bible, to walk in the power that is available. God is a delivering God, yes, and God yeah. wants people to be yeah. delivered. Yes, he does. And, uh, you know, I heard a statement um, by Carlos Anacondi. I don't know if you know who he is or not, but... Um, from Argentina, okay. and he compares the difference from the Western Church and the Eastern Church as this. He says the Western Church gives people enough Jesus to get them saved, but not free. I thought that was an interesting statement by him. Yeah. And uh, you know, the Bible says that he who the Son sets free is free indeed. So there is freedom in Christ. It's just, do we want to surrender everything to Him? Is right. the question. That's that's an interesting verse too, because it says He will set you free mm -hmm. not just make you free but set you free mm -hmm. which is pretty cool absolutely yeah. well if you want to see steve meet him in person i would suggest that you come on by on saturday from 10 to 1 right here at salt and light christian bookstore behind us and i uh, say hi to him he's a really neat guy and uh, he's going to sign books i would encourage you whether you won one or not get one get it in your hands it's good material it's going to be a blessing to you All very right. cool so uh, 888 is the number to call. We're looking for call number four again to give away this book to be a blessing. And if you want the book, you can pick it up and you can have them sign it for you, which would be really kind of cool. Yeah, that's right. I'm there signing. It's going to be there signing. So uh, come on by and uh, meet Steve and get this book. 888-825-1344 is the number to call. All right, we're going to go to the news and the weather, but before we do that, we are going to say um, goodbye to our special guest, Steve Jaynes. Uh, any last comments, Steve, for our listening audience tonight? Well, one of the things that's always on my mind is that Jesus Christ came mm -hmm. as a deliverer. Mm -hmm. He wanted to deliver. He said, I, the set the captives free, and mm -hmm. he said, this is the time. This yeah. is available, and God is, is still the same today. Amen. We can have deliverance. Amen. And so as we understand the Bible and then put on the Word of God and walk out believingly on it, we can walk in great deliverance every day. That's good stuff, Steve. I'm just kind of glancing through this book, and um, I have to say that it would, be, it would really encourage you and it would challenge your faith. So if you want to grow in the Spirit of God, I think all of us do, I want to encourage you to get this book, put it in your hands, pick it up Saturday at Salt and Light Christian Bookstore right behind us. Steve will be there signing. He'll answer any question that you have. I'm sure probably other than his shoe size, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> well, I'll tell you that if you want to know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Steve is, is a mena, as we say, and uh, God has really blessed him. And, um, Steve, maybe you can just share in these last moments the ease of your publishing because the story you told me really is a miracle. Well, uh, after I finished with the manuscript and had a manuscript, I went on the Internet and was looking for a publisher or just looking to see how about publishing, what it would take to publish. I found a, a publisher, Tate Publishing. I called them up. They asked for my manuscript. And six weeks later, they said, we would be so blessed and honored to that's publish awesome. your book. And so that's how quickly it was done for me. And I believe that's God, miracles, and wanting God wanting people to be able to have... Uh, this book so that people could really understand the Bible. See, God's the authority. Yes, amen. God's the authority. Not any man, but God. So we need to understand the Scriptures. Jesus Christ said, You do err yes. not knowing the Scriptures nor the power of God. That's what this book handles. It's good stuff. It's very good stuff. Because the Word of God is not going to turn to itself void, but it's going to accomplish what He sends it forth to do. And uh, there's life in the Word today. There's life... Uh, he's not. He has not changed. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And I'm just kind of skimming through. And you, know, you talk about living in the supernatural, and, and you talk about all kinds of different things that are important for the believer today to be empowered by the Spirit of God to live the way that God would have us live. Yeah. And that we don't have to live a defeated life, but there is victory. Yeah. In, in that, Jesus. in those chapters, there, see, God, 
All Old Testament believers, all great Old Testament believers were all miracle workers. They were. That's right. And we can do the same things today. Well, Jesus said greater. <laughs> that's what he said. He said greater. He said greater. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we didn't write the book. We're just we're just reading it from the Word. I mean, his Word is true. And uh, I guess we're going to end with there. And Don't stop. Never stop. Don't stop speaking God's Word. Speaking.